everyone. I've gotten a lot of questions about masks. Uh, so today I want to talk about who should wear masks and what mask that they uh, should wear in different circumstances. So the short answer is that the only people who need to wear masks are sick people or people who are going to be in very close contact with sick people. The rest of us going about our daily lives, a mask is not a particularly useful tool to prevent COVID-19. So Let's go a little deeper in. Why did I say that only sick people and healthcare workers need to be wearing masks? And to do that, I have to talk about two different types of masks. So the main one we talk about is the surgical mask. So that's the rectangular one that goes over your face uh, and either has ear loops or it has a tie back uh, at the top and at the bottom. Um, that's the most common one that you would see in uh, TV shows where there's a surgeon, for example. And the main purpose of a surgical mask is to protect other people from the person wearing the mask. So how it works is when you have it over your nose and mouth, if you cough or you sneeze, everything goes into the mask instead of going out into the world. And so you're able to protect other people from whatever you have, which is why surgeons wear it, because you're trying to protect the person in front of you who has uh, right now an open wound of some sort, trying to protect them from the germs that the surgeon has so that they don't get infected. And it's the same thing for COVID-19. If someone is infected with COVID-19, we ask them to wear a mask anytime they're gonna be interacting with anybody else to protect the other people so that all of that virus ends up in the mask instead of on other people or on surfaces. As far as whether or not it protects the person wearing it, it's not very effective for that. So it provides a tiny bit of protection in that if someone were to cough on your face, um, sure, some of that would go onto the mask, uh, but some of that sticks around in the air for a couple seconds, and a surgical mask lets air in the top, it lets air in the sides, even underneath, uh, so you're very able to breathe in the virus from the sides or the bottom or the top, so really it's not particularly effective to protect the wearer. And the only time that we use it to protect the person wearing it is when it's a healthcare worker who's going to be in close contact with somebody and they're also doing other things like wearing a gown and gloves and eye protection and are making sure that all of those things are dealt with and that they are using all the precautions that they need to be using because it's just an extra coverage of that bit of your face. Um, but for the rest of us out in life, a surgical mask is really only useful for sick people, not for the rest of us. That takes me to an N95, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard that we're running out of N95s, um, and that's true. It's been really challenging to get N95s, and if you go to hardware stores, you'll notice that they're sold out in a lot of places. So an N95 is the round mask that goes over your mouth and nose, often has a piece of metal here to squeeze to make sure it's firmly sealed, and then has two rubber, sorry, plastic or elastic rubber uh, straps that go on the top and the bottom. Um, that seals it over your face. So it should be hard to breathe when you're wearing it because it's actually a respirator. So it's actually something that's filtering the air and so you shouldn't be getting air through the sides of it because it is designed to only bring air through it, which is a little challenging. You have to use a little bit of effort. An N95 is designed to protect the person wearing it. It also protects other people. If you cough or sneeze into it, it will work for that as well. Um, but the main purpose is to protect the person wearing it. Because this virus is not airborne, uh, there's really no point in wearing an N95 because it's not sitting around in the air. So the N95 wouldn't be helpful because it doesn't really matter if you breathe in air. What matters more is keeping yourself two meters away from people so that if they do cough or sneeze, that those droplets are in the air and then they drop before ever coming into contact with you. So the mask itself uh, doesn't provide a lot of additional benefit because this virus doesn't stick around in the air. So it's expensive, it's uncomfortable, and we have a shortage of them, so we really need to save them for the people who need it. The times where it is needed is in some healthcare procedures. So for example, when you intubate somebody, you're doing a lot of work in their mouth, in their throat, and you can promote some movement of the virus into the air. So we talk about when there's these procedures that release it into the air more than just coughing or sneezing, we want people in the area around those procedures to be wearing an N95 to protect themselves. So even for healthcare workers, it's almost never necessary, only when we're doing a procedure that promotes airborne spread, which is only a small listing of different procedures. Um, other times that an N95 is useful is for some other jobs. For example, it can be useful to filter drywall dust, um, but overall, 
for most of us. They are expensive, they are uncomfortable, uh, they're not necessary, um, and we have a shortage. So I would say for all of you who are healthy, uh, the only time that you need to be wearing a mask is if you are providing care to somebody who is ill. So if you're going to be close and touching and in close proximity to them for a long period of time, that would be time to consider a mask. But if you're going to the grocery store, for example, um, you don't need to be wearing a mask. It's not going to provide you a lot of additional protection. I will talk to you again soon. Thank you.